ओके सो गुड इवनिंग एवरी वन सो एज वी डिस्कस ऑन अवर चैनल दैट विल ब्रिंग सम अनकट वर्जन ऑफ अवर आई सी यू अकेडमिक डिस्कशन विच वी डू इन अवर आई सी यू फ्रीक्वेंटली सो विथ मी टूडे इज डॉक्टर गरिमा एंड डॉक्टर किशोर हु आर डूइंग फेलोशिप इन इंटरनल मेडिसिन विथ अस एंड दे सो ए केस ऑफ डॉग बाइट यस्टरडे Um, uh, do- uh, for a two-year-old kid. So today they have read the topic rabies, and we'll not be discussing the whole case scenario and everything. Uh, you can read it books, but we'll discussing on the only the I will be asking only the crucial points from madam and sir, and they will be answering that. So it's a um, live discussion. Nobody is prepared for that. So I may ask random question. They will uh, answer what is uh, what they have read. so it will be a interactive session okay so we had a 2 year old kid who got dog bite yesterday so uh, whenever a patient comes to you with dog bite yes, what all things you need to see regarding the yes, wound sir so first of all we'll grade the uh, wound uh, whether it is uh, uh, like uh, it contains blood or not so if it is a grade 1 hmm. which is just leaking of dog so we'll wash the wound and if it is a grade 2 or 3 in which blood comes in, uh, comes in contact with the skin mm-hmm. so we advise first not to panic mm-hmm. and then wash the wound thoroughly with water in okay. running tap water mm-hmm. with soap mm-hmm. that's it uh, all you no- need to do is and uh, other thing is as soon as possible do the immunization which contains active immunization and passive immunization okay so we'll come to immunization a uh, few things about the wound do the wound is same on any where any part of the body the wound is same or there is a difference between it yeah sure sir uh, if the wound is present on the vascular area then it will uh, then it will be like uh, clean thoroughly and if it is not present on the vascular area then uh, so basically what uh, dr garima wants to say whenever the wound is pre- uh, dog has bitten on an area which is highly vascular like your ear lobules your like your face uh thighs arms here the blood supply is more so that's why the uh, um, uh, rabies virus get absorbed very easily so these are the wounds even if they look mild even on if you see the classification the bite marks on the face and the vascular area they need to be considered seriously and there is a high chances that these mm-hmm. patients are at risk rather now if somebody has bit on the fi- on the uh, shin of tbr or on a bony part then there is vascular supply is little less there is skin area so absorption from there will be a little less yes, so yes. any vascular means this whole face hands and yes, where sir. there is a musculature yeah. and there is contraction so uh, virus get absorbed easily so these are the areas where uh, these are risky areas so they yes, need sir. dangerous area i would say okay sir okay so we have uh, seen the patient he has got bitten we have cleaned thoroughly the water yes, sir. and we obviously you people have treated with supportive medications pain killers fluid and whatever required now regarding the immunization yes, so uh, how will you immunize this patient yes sir uh, so nowadays uh, uh, rabies uh, immunization comes in like passive immunization and active immunization passive immunization will uh, recently we have got like recombinant vaccine for this which contains 3.3 international units per kilogram which uh, uh, which comes in around 2.5 ml <laughs> vial two types of vaccination come one is active one when yes, one is passive, passive one. one so tell me the difference between two okay sir hmm. sir passive immunization is uh, given immediately or within 24 hours of dog bite hmm. and sir uh, simultaneously we give the pa- active immunization but other side other than so the so what is the difference between active and passive uh, sir passive immunization contains immunoglobulins hmm. formed immunoglobulins and uh they active will, immunization they will act immediately they, they will while act the immediately. active one yes, uh, contains dead uh, molecules yes, which sir. will activate the antibodies and the antibodies will take time in the bodies to form, to form yes, so sir. active immunization should be uh, given on how many days on these uh, days yes sir Post-exposure. active immunization uh. will be given on day 0 uh. at the time of entry then on day 3 uh. then on day 7 uh. then day 14 and 28 okay so you can follow the schedule which is written in the books it's very easy so active immunization any site preference where it should be given yes sir deltoid region may and uh. in infants we can also give on the anterolateral side of the thigh, thigh. okay where it intramuscular easily Okay, now coming to passive immunoglobin, passive immunization, immunoglobin, yes. which is very very important for all those who are listening. 
usually many of you or many of the patients receive active immunization but passive immunization get missed but it is very important especially in the case of rabies who has got 100% mortality you develop so can you brief about uh, 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 passive immunization no uh, uh, yes sir any any i'll cover up uh, whatever is missing uh sir yes sir uh active uh, no, passive, passive immunization mm -hmm. will give like uh, subcutaneously at the uh, uh, covering all the sides um, bite sides and uh, uh, covering all the area around the bite that means we will infiltrate the passive immunoglobin as much as possible around the bite side yes, where sir. the dog has bitten and the remaining one will be uh, given sure. intramuscularly okay. in the deltoid okay. or intra uh, in anterolateral aspect to thigh or gluteal region but it should be on the opposite side opposite where you opposite. have given the active immunization yes, now one more very important thing regarding this passive immunoglobins earlier very pre very early days there has to be equine based immunoglobin so the dose was 40 unit per kg that has been out of the picture for many years In recent one uh, was uh, which commonly is used is human rabies immunoglobin the dose is 20 units per kg body weight so suppose there is 60 kg weight uh, patient so 16 to 20 1200 yeah. units need to give and one vial contains around 300 units so four vials need to be given now this one vial comes around uh, some around six six seven thousand so it becomes very costly somewhere of 30 35 thousand to the patient but now recently in last three four months we have come across the recombinant uh, recombinant rabies immunoglobin and whose dose is 3.3 units per kg body weight yes. so suppose there is a 60 kg weight patient mm. and you need to give 3.3 so somewhere comes around 190 195 and single vial contains 100 uh, units so in, in two vials you, mm. patient gets vaccinated uh, uh, immunized and the dose is uh, price is also very less it's somewhere around um, uh, 1500 or 2000 uh, 2, yes. for one vial so in 3500 or 4000 the patient gets immunized so really it is in the quantity you need to administer less the cost is less and it is very easy it's very useful it will be very easy to convince the patients that uh, uh, to get this immunoglobin yes. now madam is the pregnancy a contraindication for any of these sir as far as active and passive both immunization are considered pregnancy is not a contraindication uh, because rabies is something which has got high 100 percent mortality so in yes, books sir. it is written that pregnancy is not a contraindication the patient should receive yes. now madam has made very, very good notes about rabies yesterday uh, any side effect while giving these medications uh, sir, you can have uh, pruritis like itching at the site Anti of injection. Means hypersensitivity type hypersensitivity of reactions. reactions. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Any other? Huh? No two steroids? Huh? Yes. No two steroids. Huh? No steroids. Okay. So Dr. Kishore has pointed out that the steroid has got no role in these immunizations. Um, so yes. I think that's it. It was a short short session what what we want from you this uncut version is you listen something which is very crucial about the topic and go and read this topic in detail so that you can understand better when you read and you can pick those crucial points so next time when we discuss something else we'll again share with you do let us know in the comments that how it, did you like this uncut version or you get bored uh, seeing all this Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Garima, Thank Dr. You. Kishore. Thanks, Next time we'll have Dr. Kishore with us. Today's case was madam, so she was talking all the time. Thank, Thank you, sir. You. Thank you. Thank you.